Hi, this is a, a, a new, an opening video on the new Sicilian for black. It is known as the Sveshno Dragon, but I'm going to call it the Dragnikov, as it's a hybrid between the Sicilian Dragon and the Sicilian Sveshnikov. Also, I think it sounds a bit better as well. Anyway, so it starts with e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4. C takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, g6, bishop e3, knight c6, f3, and now black plays e5. So immediately we're attacking this d4 knight, which has to now, which now needs to move. Um, two main squares, knight b3 is the best move. Knight db5 can also be played. Uh, but this is not as good. So black can go a6, and after knight a3, play b5. The plan of b4 winning a knight, and after knight d5, knight could take the d5, and after queen takes d5, queen c7. Black's plan is to go bishop b6, rook d8, and d5, where it will get a very good position. Going back, if black tries bishop g5, then uh, black can play bishop b7, and after bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, knight into d5. So currently, the knight's on a very nice outpost on this square. Black's just going to play bishop g5, c3. You know, the idea of c3 is now that this knight can come around c2 and maybe into e3, as at the moment it's in a very bad place. And after knight e7, so black wants to swap off. It's very good knight. Also, maybe puts bishop on to e6. And after knight c2, bishop b7, knight c3. So, talked about this idea the knight coming back round into the center. And now castles. And black is doing fine here. He has the two bishops and has an okay position. He's going to play f5. And he could possibly take on d5 at a later stage. So, I think he's doing fine. White's bishop is known as a bad bishop because of the pawn structure. So as I said, yeah, black's just doing okay. So going back, black's best move is is knight to b3 in this position. If knight takes c6, we could play b takes c6. Um, the best move to white is to go bishop c4, uh, bishop b7, not to bishop h6, stopping black from castling. Um, black can just play knight to d7, now to queen d2, preparing castles queenside, maybe attacking this weak d6 pawn. Black can go rook b8, so immediately attacking the b2 pawn. Now to castles, knight c5, f4, bishop g4, attacking d1 rook, rook df1, line up pressure against this f7 pawn. And after bishop back to e6, bishop takes, knight takes, now g3, protecting the f4 pawn, queen comes to b6, we attack its b2 pawn, and this is equal. So black has no problems here either. So going back. Best move for white is knight b3, and now bishop b6, and Surprisingly, queen d2 is actually not very good here because of d5. So, good move for white here is queen e2, which looks a bit odd as it's blocking in the bishop, or light square bishop. But the benefit of this move is after castles, or black can't, black can't play d5 here, as I'll show you. So if d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, now castles queen side, and the rook. It's pinning the queen, just to give black a bad position. The immediate threat is knight takes d5, not bishop takes c4. Uh, that's going to be winning, winning a piece. Um, so after queen e2, black's best option is just to get on with his development, bishop g7. And after castles, black castles, and now king b1. It's the main move here. If knight c5, black can go knight to d4. This gets a slight advantage. 
obviously black can't a uh, white can't take this take take knight's gonna go in well anywhere looks good to me bishop be attacking the rook um you could try knight takes e6 but f takes rook takes black is certainly getting some compensation here bishop lining up against b2 pawn rook queen could b6 so yeah so this looks fine as well for black um if g4 which looks perfectly logical the plan of h4 h5 attacking black's castled king black can just play a5 immediately threatening a4 pushing the knights back um and after well, knight b5 is a move here and queen e7 just giving up the d6 pawn and after if rook takes d6 black can play a4 um and after the knight moves it's gonna get rook fc8 and knight to b4 is slightly unclear but you know, I think this isn't not this is okay for black he's getting plenty of compensation for the pawn um, he's gonna have a lot of pressure down the c file attacking the c2 pawn um, and if you can get rid of this knight then uh, the rook's always going to be this rook's always going to be um, what well, danger I guess so uh, also after a5 if knight goes to uh, if knight goes to uh, c5 like before black can just play knight d4 um, if king b1 then a4 and after knight c5 black can play knight d4 again bishop takes e takes d4 knight takes e6 f takes e6 and after knight b5 black can play a3 if rook takes d4 yeah, we just have this knight takes g4 and with a discovered attack on the rook. Um, okay, so that's why black's best move in this position is king b1. Um, okay, so now queen b8. Very good move. It looks a bit unlogical as it's blocking in the a8 rook. Um, but what queen b8 does is it does prepare to play b5 in the future, maybe after an a6 move. Um, any other move like queen e7 or queen e7 and g4 can be played, and after a5, queen could come to b5, and this is the main problem. Um, because of this move, black can't get the quality. These pawns are both um, sort of stuck now. The queen is keeping them all under tabs. Um, so that's not very good for black a5 immediately then black white can play knight c5 and after knight d4 bishop takes d4 e takes d4 knight takes e6 f takes e6 knight b5 knight d7 and um okay i mean this is okay for black if knight takes d6 it's not very good i mean because queen b6 potential threats of uh d3 immediately lining up the queen b takes b2 checkmate and if knight takes d4 queen b6 again and this is also very dangerous for white bishop and uh bishop and queen lining up against the king i mean in case if white can play his knight to b5 but black is certainly not doing too badly here But anyway, this is a 5s not actually it's best black's best move. Queen b8 is the best move. And after g4, which is logical, as I said earlier, plan to go h4 and h5. Rook d8. Um, possibly preparing uh, d5 in the future. Now black white continues with h4. If g5 immediately, then white black can just play knight h5. Followed by knight e7 and knight f4, maybe d5 and later. So this, this also looks very good for black. Um, also after knight h5, you see that white's attacks is uh, sort of blockaded now. Um, the h pawn can't get to h5, and normally to get rid of this knight on h5, you need to get your bishop to attack the knight, normally by the e2 and then moving the f pawn. Um, 
But yeah, the Queen's on e2, so it's going to take a while. And like, Black's just going to play knight to f4 anyway. Try and get rid of this um, bishop. And after he takes back, this bishop's going to become very good. Okay, so h4 is a very logical. It's again, h5. Trying to open up the rook file for uh, yeah, the h file for the rook. Maybe the queen can be h2 later on. Um, here, black just carries on with his attack. So he gets a5, threatening a4. So white's best move, surprisingly, is actually to go a4. If he goes h5 here, black can just play a4, and after knight d2, knight d4, queen f2, a3. And once again, this is just equal now. If b3, because you don't you don't black to take on b2 and get the, this open up rook, rook file, the bishop coming in as well. So uh, b3 might be played, but then after either rook or queen to the c file, knights and c2 pawn are looking a bit weak. Um, for example, if rook c8, black can't, white can't take this either. So after queen takes, knight takes g4. Looks winning, I think, for black. Um, so yes, this is not very good. So Bl white wants to block this attack, this move. So he plays a4 first of all, and now he's going to continue with h5. Uh, black does want to let him do that, so he gets knight b5. The idea being is now d5. White, the black can play d5, freeing up his game. And after h5, d5. H takes g6, which is a good move. Just opening up, just trying to open his rook file, which he does now. H takes g6. Now the queen might be able to come to f2. Not just doing anything at the moment because this knight's very strong, but he might be able to push the knight back with g5 at some point, as long as he's not allowing the knight to come to h5 afterwards. Um, after bishop b6, immediately attacking the dh rook. Black just ignores it, plays d4, and after bishop takes d8, queen takes d8, knight a2, and now black can play the important move d3. Um, okay, obviously black, white needs to take this, uh, give back the exchange, where we'll have a slight advantage. Um, for example, if queen f2 is another move, then black should simply winning after d takes c2 check, and if c takes d3, Black can just take the knight, where it's also going to be a lot better. Attacking the rook and the knight here. Um, so white, uh, black, white, yeah, white's best option is rook takes d3. Black will recapture. It is queen. Uh, pawn can't take, so he's going to lose the knight again. Should be a piece down. So queen's going to have to take. And the engine or Dini gives plus. 0.37 for white here, so it's not much. It's like no, he's not even half a pawn. Um, so yeah, this suggests that Black's gonna have his fair share of counter-attacking chances as well. So it's pretty much most of the lines going on over pretty quickly. Um, I have to say, I've tried. I tried this line out against uh, a couple of my friends online on the ICC, and I've been getting quite good results of it. Because most people don't really know what to do against this line. It's obviously fairly new. And it's very tricky if white doesn't know what to do. I mean, earlier on we saw this queen e2 move. Um, let's get back to it. Queen e2. Um, yeah, but I think if you don't know the theory here, most players just instinctively just go queen d2. Queen d2 and black can just play d5. Which is a common theme in the Sicilian Dragon to try to play d5 after nine castles, queenside. Um, that's why you see often in Yugoslav, bishop into c4. Obviously, when the bishop's not still on c8, um, to stop black from playing d5. So, if black can play it straight away here, he's going to be doing very well. He's got two central pawns so far in the center. And after takes, 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 everything might come off. You might have got queen takes probably the best move. But black's probably equal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure black's just equalized here. So white's got no initiative. Um, so yeah, it's quite 
I mean, this queen, queen e2 move is hard to find. And there's quite a few moves throughout throughout the throughout this new variation in Sicilian. If you don't know the theory, then you could easily black can easily get a very good position. Um, we see in the black, you know, after, even if they do play queen e2 and bishop g7, castle, castle. You now king b1's best move. It's just like a waiting move keeps the king out of the firing line. Most players, uh, certainly myself, if I if I not to operate, just go g4 and get on of h4 and h5. Um, as white, but this gives black good position after a5, uh, as we discussed earlier. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, goodbye for now.